Come up with a big stop here on third and eight to get their offense out onto the field. And tight man to man on the edges too. Burkhalter in motion for the Hawks. Willoughby looks to the right side, throws over the middle, finds his man, big first down and more. This is Burkhalter running into space to the 10, to the five, he's in! Touchdown Hawks! 50 yard strike. First career touchdown for Blaine Burkhalter. Just a simple crossing route. A great blocking down. And Pierce just trying to come up with a fresh set of downs. Campanelli flushed out of the pocket. He's going to be wrapped up and sacked. Couple of different Hawks got there. First among them, Max Tension, the junior defensive end out of Maryland. Out lined up one on one here on the near side. That may be where Willoughby's looking here on second and ten. He's going to hand it off instead. Wagner gets by the first man. Now finds daylight to the left side, and he will score. Vincent Wagner jogs in from 14 yards out. First rushing touchdown of the year by a Hawks running back. And Baldacero, the wideouts. Campanelli checks with the line. Campanelli going to throw over the middle, in and out of the hands of Daniels. That was there. Play was there to be made. But Daniels could not haul it in, and the Hawks defense holds to keep it a 14-0 game. First and 10 from the Hawk 27. Campanelli looking to throw, has time, throws over the middle, it's picked off. Didn't see the linebacker sitting in the middle, and the pass intercepted. Picked off by Devin Williams. Just sitting right in the middle of the zone. Second down and 10, Willoughby stands in, finds Brown over the middle. He bounces off a couple tackles and takes it into Franklin Pierce territory. Well, the heat was on for Willoughby, but he stared down the rusher and found Brown for a big first down. Willoughby gives it, Wagner. Well, Willoughby keeps it and he races in. Fought through the tackle of Rodriguez. Will it be too strong? And he's got his second rushing touchdown of the year, a one-yard keeper. Certainly was a little bit of help to work off the Merrimack game, but still some things in the works. Will it be going to take a shot down the left side? Brown makes the grab. He's got it, and he's gone. Another circus juggling catch for Anthony Brown, and he'll take it all the way for six. A lot of hand fighting on that throw, and Anthony Brown able to fight his way through it. It could have been defensive pass interference, but Brown instead able to find the ball. Another juggling catch. Great coordination and concentration. Nothing late in the third. On second down and 10, Willoughby forced to scramble. On the move, he's going to throw for the end zone. Caught! Leaping catch by Cade Horton for his first career touchdown. And Willoughby. High snap, forced him to backpedal. He just barely gets it away. A little contact at the end and not enough for a flag. Brown able to make the first man miss. Here he goes up the middle. Brown with a stiff arm. Only the putter to beat. And there he goes. Anthony Brown with a punt return for a touchdown. Well, the finger's okay. We saw the stiff arm to the face mask of the defender. A flag comes in. This will be Klein to punt it away. Heat put on by the Ravens, a good boot by Klein. Daniels from his 18-yard line, wrapped up and spun down. Taylor Pawlkowski, the linebacker, getting down the field with a nice tackle of Daniels. Final seconds will count down. The teams will shake hands at midfield. And for the first time in 2021, St. Anselm finishes up a winner, 42-7, to the final today against Franklin Pierce. Yeah, you know, I think uh, uh, in all three phases we talked about, you know, um, playing a complete game. And that was the challenge that I set to the guys. You know, losing the game last week on the last play is, uh, 
stung a little bit, but we have resilience in our group, and we we came back and uh, and recovered nicely. And I thought we executed at a fairly high level. You know, uh, offense, defense, special teams. At times, you know, there's some ebb and flow in the game, which is going to be going to be normal. All right, but uh, our guys uh, have some grit, man. They got blue collar mentality, and we just continue to move on and do it things our way. Yeah, you know, defensively, we talked about stopping the running game, and I, I don't know if you can stop it. I think you can slow it up a little bit. Um, they've got, they've got some terrific schemes and terrific backs over there, well coached. Uh, we really challenged our guys to tackle well and swarm to the ball. You know, and uh, we have an expectation of having a 90 percent. Uh, pursuit grade here and that's the expectation and our job is to meet or exceed the expectation so we're, we're, we're pretty excited about how we swarm to the ball today we can fix some of the, the uh, schematic things on, on the field but we play with a ton of heart today yeah Anthony Brown continues to be a difference maker for our program uh, and, and not only on the field he's a tremendous captain off the field and he's a he's a guy that uh, you know is a first in last out type of kid and uh, and people feed off of his energy and uh, we've got great leadership here. I'm really proud of our senior class. I'm really part of our, proud of our captains and our leadership council. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll save our victory today, and then we'll go to work on Bentley tomorrow.